Okay, continue. Okay, what I experienced when I was coming back from school, that I just finished my GS3 by then, that is 2016. And then I was coming back from school because we finished our junior work, then we're asking for. So I was coming back, and then I, I got a car from Wagalada to Apo Bridge. So the people that helped me to get the car, they dropped me. They asked me to enter the car, so the driver now said I should come to the front. On my own thinking, I was thinking maybe the back side up is filled up. That was why they said I should go to the front. So I went to the front, and then the man now started asking me questions, different kinds of questions, that am I a Muslim, am I a that? And I said, no, I'm not, I'm a Christian. Then he now said that, please, can I give him a chance of five minutes less talk? And I said, what kind of five minutes chance would I give you so that we'll talk? It was not like, no, let's talk for five minutes. And I said, please, just take me to where you are taking me to. I don't want to hear anything. If you know you cannot take me to where I'm going, please drop me down. Let me find another car. He said, no, I will drop you where you are going. Only for us to reach that um, Lube side, he now turned to another side that I don't even know. The place was quiet. When the place was quiet, then before I know, the man start pressing me and start touching me. Before I know, he stopped the car and then he was not like he wanted to. He was not like clamping my body. After he has clamped, and then I was biting him. I kept on biting him. I bite him. I was sliding speed on his body. I bite him. Then I would point him the speed. I bite him. I would point him the speed. Then I was not slapping him. I give him a heavy slap. Yes. Then he not stop. He drop down. Then he now continued. I was not shouting at the car. He said, I should keep quiet. But if you say, I cannot keep quiet, he should drop me down. I said, you are very stupid. Is that the place you say you are taking me to? That's not the place you say you are taking me to. But look at what you are doing. Go with church. Before, I, not give, I said, I leave you with God. And police was there. The place he dropped him, there were police. But I didn't say anything to them. He gets me another car. I enter. I said, I leave you with God. You will see. Thank you very much. That was what I thought. To try their possible best and make um like all these police, I mean should be all this roadside so that problem will stop because the thing is really too much. People are suffering. Even uh, all these children of 14 years, 12 years, 13 years, then a man will just come and rape you like that. It's no good, it's very, very bad. It will disbelieve you, you when your husband have not even seen you. That is no good. It's very, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> The experience I had was this year, not too long, when I was resuming school along that Gogolada Expressway. Though the road was under construction then. So there was a particular point I had to drop and pick a bike to where I can get a cab going to Pali. So when I stopped and um, the bike men there were struggling, dragging for who to pick me, the driver refused and said he was going to take me to where I'll get a cab to Pali himself. But one man came and was very gentle. I, it, it was real that he was pretending to be genuine. He came and said he was going to drop me where I'll get a cap to Pali. With his um, well behavior and attitude, the driver actually had a little bit of trust for him. No side talk. And asked me to go with the bike man. So when I was with my luggage, I was with my box, with um, my school bag, another little um, handbag. So when I was on the bike, he said, uh, look at his brother loading cap to Pali. I should stop and join his brother that is loading um, to Pali. So when I stopped, I came down with my bag. That is my box. And my school bag was with me. And my small handbag was with me. So he, I asked him, what about my box? He said he has given it to his brother. I said, have you given everything to his brother? He said, yes. I said, OK. When I got to Pali Junction, about dropping, I asked the guy, the guy that took me to Pali for my box. He said his brother did not give, give him any box. I said, but when I stopped there, your brother said he gave you my box. He said he did not give him any box. I said, okay, I'm going nowhere. You will take me back to that uh, Gogolada. So far, the guy is your brother. And both of you will provide my box. And he started screaming. I said, I should get away. He does not know anything about my box. I said, both of them must provide it because it's a new box with my provision and 13,000 naira for my, for my upkeep in school. She said that same box. That is how the man drives and left me there. 
I was stranded. Another driver has to pick me back to Gogolada. We looked for that bus. We searched everywhere. I was unable to find my bus. That's how my bus got missing, my 30,000 Naira and my provisions. So that was my experience. No, all these stories, no, they sweet. This one happened in Gwagwalada or Kwali school. From between from Gwagwalada and Kwali. And Kwali. Yes. Uh, what did it, which, like, which particular period, which time? That was in the month of April. April, April May when we were This year? Yes, this year. Okay. But people around, when you were arguing with the second person that took you to school, was there nobody around to come to your assistance? People were there. They were trying to talk to the driver, but he drove up. Yeah, they would not have allowed him to move now. But all the same, the response of the community members was not very encouraging. But what, in your own opinion, do you think? How do you think we can approach the situation? Practical solution to the situation? Okay, for me, I think um, what government can help to do is to provide like um, a good system of transportation. Yeah. In the essence of, in our parks, we should have where you can write down your name, write your phone number, then they should know the vehicle you are taking. In case there's anything like this, you can report back to the garage and you'll be able to trace the driver, not just for only um, for cars, but it should be like done for also motorcycles and taking a pep, as in it should just be a very strong system. In case if something like that happens, you can actually report, report back to the garage and you can trace the driver back, and from there, they can take up any action. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, what I'm trying to say about this is purity. We have to learn to take care of each other. When you see your fellow brother, either a disabled or a person who is not disabled, you should try to help. So that as a disabled person, when it, your own time comes, Someone who doesn't know that that thing is important will try to help out. But if you feel it is not me, then there will be a problem. But let's try to be one another's keeper. In her own case of um, someone running with her, her things, I think somebody should have been there to help her, but she was left alone. So we should try to be one another's keeper. So that the government will also see a way of helping us. Because we should not only look at the government. Let's start from us. Let it not just be me, me, me. If I try to take care of you, another person will take care of me. If, you, if another person takes care of me, another person will be there for your child, your husband, or someone in need out there. I was uh, in I was going I was traveling to Jaws one time and there was a robbery on the way. So when uh, one of the armed robbers saw me and he said I should stay in the car so that I will not be robbed. I said no, because I watched the movies that you who is trying to be innocent, sometimes you'll be killed. I was seeing a gun pointed at the car, so I, I told him no. Let me go down. I quietly went down. So sometimes when somebody tries to say he is going to help you, it will not be a help. So let's not look for cheap ways of getting help, but let's try to help one another and try to help ourselves. Thank you. So we're, ask, we're asking the president to help us with this issue of insecurity. They took her father and her brother, they asked for a ransom, they paid the ransom, and yet the father was killed. And he left 20 children. And he left behind 20 children. And she's a woman with leprosy. Okay. And she's a woman with leprosy, so just imagine what she's going through. Let the president help us. People are so there is no food. People are hungry.
Ana yi an goje ya faru. Eh ati ya ba? A'a. Ji an goje. Ba dai mu na. Yesterday. Ni ma so bi su na goje. Ba dai. Ana da wo. Ana da wo. Ana. Ba ji ki ba da ka. Yesterday they took another person in him. Day before yesterday they took another person. So they've been taking people on and on and on. So we are now living in fear. Which area? We don't want, we don't know where to go. To. We don't know where to run to. We cannot sleep with our eyes closed in our homes. And this is a disabled community. This is a disabled community. So imagine somebody coming to rob this community. I don't know what is happening. They kidnap you? Yes. Young Goji, close to Abaji. Okay, okay. They live. So we need the president to help us. Because. I can't find it. So let's give her. I can't find my age. 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 She came with the hamster. The student she like. Oh, she's 50 years old. Her name is Fatima Mohammed. And a woman with leprosy. A woman with leprosy. She came from. She came from Yangoje. She came from Yangoje. That's where the kidnapping has been taking place. And uh, if city, yes, yes, close to Abaji. Mention it. We are not safe again in this country, and this is a city. Please let us appreciate her. Aja, Mungo is the best. Allah, that's the moon. Yeah. Must have a special transport system for people with disabilities. 
People with disabilities, 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 people before a person with your disability is your transported to the Before a person with disability is transported to the to the government will send somebody that is known to take the person to anywhere the person wants to go. Phone numbers and their name, their station where they work. Their name, the station where they work must be known so that people with disabilities. Somebody with them or not. Thank you very much. My name is Apenya. I'm here to give um, to share an experience of what person with albinism experience in this era of insecurity. It's no longer news that there is insecurity in the country. And for persons with disability, I think it's triple what we face. Person with albinism nowadays can no longer travel without fear. Because the issue of kidnapping, I know they kidnap people here and there, but for person with albinism, once a person with albinism is being kidnapped, they will take money and the next thing you hear is that they are dead. Why? Because they did not even come for the money, but for the body parts of person with albinism. Why? Because some of them, from um, the story I heard, they said they use their uh, body for ritual, that it helped to give fame and other selfish interest. And again, the issue of rape is alarming now among the, our community. Now, persons with albinism are being raped here and there. Why? Because the reason I got why I tried to make research was that um, their body, uh, why, what, if you sleep with a person with albinism, that if you have HIV, it cures HIV. <laughs> That's one. That it makes them rich, and some of them that are even going for politics, that it helps too. So we are really going through a lot. How about the assault we, we receive from people on the road? They will try to like throw insults on you just for you to react, and the next thing is they will land on you and start beating you up. Um, there was a day I came to a park in Kogi State. I was coming to Abuja, and it, a guy just stepped on my feet, and I was like, "Ah, why did you do this?" I was like, "Ah, can you even see me?" I was like, "Ah, ah, I didn't see. So I didn't know that you step on my feet." He was like, "Eh, eh, how would I even step on your feet? You people are you even human being? Human being are talking for are even talking to?" I was like, I was trying to like enlighten him to give him more uh, information. And the next thing he was, he was raising his hand to slap me. And I hold his hand up. I was like, to prove to you that I'm seeing you and you cannot dare to slap me. And uh, people came to my rescue that day. And there was even a man there that took it up. I wanted to take the guy to the police station. I personally begged him. And at the end of the day, he was like, that he didn't have the information. I said, no, it's not about you having the information. It's all about what you feel, or what you know, or what you even think. Like, you don't need an information to know that you have to treat someone right. Apart from me being a person with albinism, you have younger sisters at home, or you, are, you might even be married. You don't need information to treat anybody right. And as, a, as an adult, nobody can like deceive you or give you a wrong mentality about anybody. So in this case now, I'm calling on government to inform the security agencies. So they should inform them about this issue because some of them are playing dead here on it, that they don't know that persons with disability, persons with albinism, that their bodies are used for ritual. So they should inform them formally. And again, there should be a penalty for anybody that violates the law because to my best, uh, to my um, knowledge now, I know people understand punishment. And when they hear punishment, I think they will like rearrange themselves. So if there is a consequence for any action, I believe people will change or it will change them a bit. Thank you.
thank you very much. My apartment. And the first place for them to come is my room. About eight of them. Before I could say they are Robinson, they already break everywhere. So although I shouted for help, it was only one person that came out. So when I was shouting, help, 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 one of my neighbors that had he ran out. And he ran into their hand. They collected his phone and they stabbed me, stabbed me with knife. Then the other of my neighbor that heard my voice sent their send a boy through the backyard to the police station because my house is not far from the police station. But unfortunately, when he, when he got there, they started asking him, hey, where is your house? Which tribe are they robbing? What tribe are you? So before they could finish all those things, those arm robbers, they enter my room and the other of my neighbor, yeah, was the one that came to rob us. They collected our phone, they left with money, and even some of our credentials. So, but fortunately for us, they were arrested after like two days. They went to another place to work and they were arrested. And they asked them if they are the one that came to our area. They said yes. But my sister said, the story is different. Because we started following them up. We, started, we went there, we saw our things that they stole, but they didn't release it to us. So we started following, later they told us that the DSS has taken them. But the rest today is history. Because as I speak now, those things were not released. But those armed robber has been released. So what I want is justice. Then my solution, just like um, Zainab said, there should be consequence. There should be consequence. When an arm robber attack with evidence, I don't think they should be released because they have some influential people. I don't think they should be released. We follow this case to DSS office. <laughs> we follow my neighbors. They went there like three times, three times. Police station. When you go there, what will you get? They will say, bring money for, pay, for paper. Bring money for payroll. Bring money for this. So when we see that they've turned us to ATM, we have to let go. So my recommendation is that anybody, no matter who you are in the society, don't go and guarantee that they should release an armed robber. That's my recommendation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please let us appreciate that. What location?